All right, Charlie, take us in. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the official podcast. This is episode 172. Today, we're joined by a special guest, some ordinary gamers. Muda, go ahead and take the stage. Hello, guys and gals. Me, Muda Har. You know. Welcome to the official podcast. What is it again? Episode one? 172. 172. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. That is impressive. Yeah, it's been a while. Mm. Probably yeah, one of the longest forever. running YouTube podcasts, if I had to guess. And the first. Yeah. One of the first. And yeah. the yeah. best. Yeah. Most popular, too. Uh, most handsome host. This is the, oh, this God, is I was going to say the most handsome host <laughs> part. Yeah, I agree. I can say this is the only podcast I've ever watched, like, one of the episodes all the way through in my car. So, you know. Ooh, hey, fuck good. yeah. Wait, 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 oh, wait. wait. Yeah. You, you watched it all the way through in your car that you were driving? Okay, well, all right, let me let me rephrase that. No, I, I didn't commit anything wrong in my car or anything. I followed all the rules of the road. I had it, I had it, I had it running in the background as I as I definitely uh, followed, you know. The road rules. Yeah, yeah look, man, look, look, it was an hour-long drive, all right? I needed something to keep me up in the morning, and you guys kept me awake, all right? Yeah, how many times did you chuckle? Did you <laughs> subscribe <laughs> to that Patreon, you son I, of a bitch? What tier are you? You're allowed in this Patreon. episode. Huh? Which one? What? Which Patreon tier are you? You're allowed to be on the show. <laughs> oh man, you know, I'm the I'm the God Patreon tier, you know, like the really hidden one. We you used to have the Messiah one, which is the yeah. Messiah. There it is. What perks did that come with? Shit. <laughs> uh, the, Do well, we want to tell him what the perk was? <laughs> should should have should have been the should have been some OnlyFans style shit, dude. For for being it called genu- the Messiah. It, 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 kind it of generally, is. like genuinely was, yeah. Can yeah I tell really. <laughs> Yeah, so no, Muda, we have a legacy tier. So these days on Patreon, they don't even allow you to have a tier above $15,000. So we can't even edit it because if you try to edit it, it won't let, let you uh, lock in the changes. We have a oh. legacy tier for 50000 a month of a poster. 50000 a month? Yeah, of a poster with my cum on it. So if you want that, <laughs> you can have it well, now. Let me, let me, <laughs> let me look wanna... into my finances. Shit, that sounds tempting. <laughs> you gotta rebudget your shit, man. You gotta get that. Take uh, out a loan. I mean, bro, I mean. <laughs> Second yeah, mortgage. I've never found a more compelling reason to go into debt, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's up there. You know, it's, uh, it's the perfect reason. Dude, the economy's collapsing. You want to invest in art, right? Just find it, <laughs> hang it on your wall so it keeps in its art? value. <laughs> They call Kaya's come liquid gold for that reason. You want to keep it in storage. I had the gold gonna, rush. Gonna, and also gonna, because of its disgusting color. No, what are you going to show me some fucking toilet paper like statues and shit? Invest in that? <laughs> no, I didn't use toilet paper. That's why I used a poster. Bro, that's what gets me weird pioneer. about this whole like... That's what gets me weird about this whole COVID shit with, like, all the toilet mm-hmm. paper running out of the store. I'm like, bro, just buy a fucking bidet at the end of it. Like, get your yeah. fucking... Or just uh, shower and use your hand. Actually, uh, yeah, did, you see, you. did you see that Amazon reported that bidet sales are reaching, like, record highs now during this time? Really? Everyone is actually what? buying bidets because of the toilet paper So what I don't out. understand about this whole COVID thing is how is it tanking the economy when everyone's buying everything so much? <laughs> well, because all of sports are cancelled, all of entertainment's yeah. cancelled. No one's going to restaurants or Plus. out to... It's, it, yeah. It, yeah, but who needs that when the toilet paper industry is skyrocketing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it's... China yeah, had to lock wipe up their ass, man. <laughs> they all they had to lock up all of their sweatshop workers, and China is like the world's factory. So the economy took a quite a hit there. I mean, people Isn't are still going like to where bars most and shit. Of the toilet paper is made, though. Isn't that like where the yeah. Mo- yeah? So it's like, aren't you still technically buying COVID nineteen, like you know, for your <laughs> asshole from like what, you know, what, bagged up and sealed, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. dude. It's like I, I was, I was at the Walmart. I was at the Walmart, and it's just like, pallets are gone, dude. Like, everyone's just yeah. fucking losing their shit. I, I, dude, yeah. I felt like Michael fucking Moore when I went there yesterday, because I'm just like, man, I got to take photos of all this shit, dude. It was crazy. Everything was gone. All of it's, it. It's Nothing insane. Where there. do you live, Muda? I live in Toronto, like, just, you know, 30 minutes outside Toronto. of the city. Toronto. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know people there, too. Yeah, this, this panic has spread everywhere. It wasn't here. I live in Hamburg in Germany, and it was... Fu- yeah. so, oh, okay, uh, we should clarify. I told Jackson before we should tell people when we're actually recording this because this thing is moving so fast that every single day, whatever we we Mm -hmm. say, we're going to look silly the day after just in case it gets even worse or maybe better. Today is the 15th. Oh, it's definitely going to get worse. Probably, yeah. So today is the 15th of March. 
Uh, we're recording at 11 a.m. Eastern, so you know if we sound a little ignorant, that's for two reasons. One, we may have out of date data, and two, we are all retarded here. So I went to my grocery so store I and I saw her. just people <laughs> awkwardly arguing about who gets to have the last now, pack of sorry, three Sorry, is, ger- is this uh, is this Germany or Turkey? Just for clarification, Germany, Germany, and Hamburg. Okay, okay. So people it, are buying- it's worse in Europe, right, than the Middle East right now oh yeah i mean in the middle east it, it really you, you really better not be in the middle east i am actually so i you know i'm all giggly and laughing and making jokes about this shit but i'm almost certain my mother is gonna die of this as are probably most of my <laughs> oh, uncles. Jesus sickness no, runs in my family you know how they say old people they're most susceptible uh, susceptible to this as are sick people mm-hmm. the yeah. old and yeah. infirm so that's my family, basically, right? They all, they're all fat. They all have diabetes. My mom had just, she went through a bout of uh, chemotherapy like three years ago. They're all just, once they catch that shit, they don't have good chances. And the, you guys know the Middle East. It's, you know, where they swallow imam spit in an effort to cure the virus. So you'll, you'll be the last Orson. You'll be the last of the Orsons. I should I should put that composter at hundred thousand now. It's increasing in market just, value. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's going to be the last of that DNA line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an endangered animal. <laughs> you, should, you should like you should like preserve your fucking DNA right now. Just go to one of those like DNA lockups and shit. Yeah, yeah, like this is absolute. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet everyone will love that. Is uh, in the future, a thousand years from now, some girl's gonna go to the b- fucking sperm bank and be like, "Yeah, I want that guy, that fucking shut in, extremely introverted, semi-retarded, hairy Turkish dude. I want that come. I want his children. I bet he's was real great." No, oh, I, lo- I love how we were all retarded early on, but you just saved yourself by going semi-retarded. Fuck that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, if we're retarded, we're all retarded equally here. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, I am full retarded. Um, Does your driver's yeah, license say? <laughs> you have a little, you have a little, you have a little, you have a little retard sticker on the car. I That's should carry retard one like, uh, like Joaquin Phoenix and Joker. I should carry a card that whenever I do something socially awkward, I can reach them the card and it just says, "Excuse me, I'm entirely retarded." As I'm laughing, <laughs> you have a little pie chart that shows what percentage retarded you are in relation right. to everything else. <laughs> just, excuse me, I'm retarded. May I have the last roll of toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, that's a that's a three hundred yeah, IQ power a move right there. Excuse me, man. What percentage that's retarded? That's the least retarded you? thing you've said so far. Right, you, should be, you should be on my siege <laughs> team, dude. That's fucking. That's proper. I like it. It's that kind dude, of thing that so wins games. That that stuff you brought up about the toilet paper and people panic buying. It has me more worried than the actual virus. I know the virus is very bad, but when I go to the grocery store and people are, I'm seeing so many messages now in social media posts from like parents saying that they can no longer find. Uh, diapers and baby food for example for their babies because some bitch bought it all up in an effort to resell it on amazon for like 10 times the price you're such an asshole you are there's such a, a cunt. speaking of that there's like i don't know where it is in canada but there's a family i, th- I don't I, th- I don't think it's toronto i think it's like all the way in vancouver or british columbia or something where this family or like this like husband and wife they consider themselves hustlers they bought like mm-hmm. seventy seven thousand mm-hmm. something dollars worth of fucking hand sanitizer and shit and they're yeah. selling it for like four times the fucking price like they're hustling so, that's shit illegal hard. So, right yeah do you guys have laws illegal. against that no it's, no it's not illegal if you no. buy it you can resell it for whatever you want yeah really. it's no, scummy so, but it's not illegal as far as i know no it is illegal, it was illegal, illegal during, like national emergencies i'm trying to find that article now i sent it to jackson earlier but in some parts it is illegal the new york times just ran a headline called uh, about a guy who bought up a bunch this douchebag traveled all around the U.S. to buy up all the hand sanitizer. So if anybody wants to look this up, this from the New York Times says, he has 17,700 bottles of hand sanitizer and nowhere to sell them. So what this guy did uh, is... I got, a, I got he, an article right here, the one that we're talking about. I'll just put it in the, uh, like, if I can put it in somewhere here in general. For you're you the first guest who ever did that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was polite. Yeah, yeah you're, 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 really you're nice. doing your homework. I like it. You can put oh, it in the uh, show chat there. We have a specific channel to archive all this stuff. Uh, Above yeah. the voice chat. Oh, yeah, so basically right this here, guy, boys. he bought all of the hand sanitizer and tried to sell it on Amazon for like, uh, I don't know, he bought them at $2 a pop and tried to sell them at like 70 bucks a bottle. 
Amazon 70? cracked down on him. Yeah, 70. Up to. Holy 70. Shit. So Amazon so cracked right down on, on them. Amazon specifically cracked down on sellers like that. They tried to crack down on price gouging. So that eBay. So now this guy doesn't have an avenue to sell this stuff. Yeah, and but wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Amazon, um, uh, what, from what I heard, Amazon is also in the act of price gouging, though. They're also selling these things for higher than normal rates. It could be but, automated, but is that, Yeah, but is it's it like automated. Amazon automated, themselves automated, doing yeah. it, or is it like the third party? Because I know it's like shaky on Amazon, right? Yeah, I think it's probably yeah, third sure. party. I, assu- I mean, I assume yeah. that basic Amazon algorithm would dictate that something that sells more gets slightly yeah, increased in price. But this high, guy, yeah. Increase, yeah. he was trying to sell like at 36 times the price. So Amazon said, fuck that. And they put a stop to it and even threatened to delete his account and other people's accounts. And apparently now he's also in trouble with his local government for doing this because apparently... It's, it's that's good. Yeah, I, it's I, I good. agree. Yeah, this, I think that is good. The, the, the uh, capitalization on this kind of stuff doesn't make much sense to me because hands sa- like I don't think the supply chain is ruined of hand sanitizer and toilet paper right now, right? Well, just, it's just that demand is exceptionally Jackson, high. Jackson, the thing so that still kills making me. making the products. The thing I that know kills that, me like, on your that. emergency making the product. Like, aren't pharmacists in like the UK just like yeah. synthesizing it right there now? Because it's just fucking sold out everywhere. Yeah, yeah, so it's not like it's not like there's no product coming into the stores anymore. So. People are just going to wait like a few days and then and then line up for toilet paper rations, probably. Yeah. <laughs> See, Jack, Jackson, the thing on that, though, that just really Fuck gets it. to me is that the way that you prevent the spread of the virus is if everyone is cleanly and everyone keeps themselves hygienic and takes those steps. So if you're hoarding all the Fuck hand that. sanitizer or the hand soap or any of that shit, yeah. you're just making the problem worse because no one else has access to those materials. Yeah, but you're safe, Andrew. What don't you understand? Yeah, you'll be the <laughs> safest right? That's the funny survivor. thing. You're not safe. You're making it worse. Just bunker your ass inside, dude. Fuck. Right, sure, yeah, yeah, you're not spreading the virus, but that's Make more people out of toilet toilet spreading paper. it themselves. <laughs> Make Listen, a wall. You're, you're like, not thinking it through. Just, what if it was just like a... bunker your ass in. What if it's just a cartel of, the rest of you. pranksters who want to TP every house. That's just their form of anarchy. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for a YouTuber or a, or a prankster who gets a whole bunch of toilet paper and just burns it or something. For oh, years. Dude. Oh, That's going to be the next thing. Bro, Burning don't toilet Don't give paper. them ideas. Yeah. God damn it. Now it's going to happen. Some fuck is going to do that. It's going to be like 3 a.m. Like, in the woods, toilet paper burning. Bro, times like this, I wish we still had J-Station, bro. We could call up coronavirus and tell it to fuck off. <laughs> the last, what do we do, the last stand. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, we got, we got rid of our one guy. Fuck, I bro. am worried, though. So how worried, on, on a scale of 0 to 10, how worried are you guys about, say, getting quarantined? Oh, well, I'm a shut-in, so it won't really affect me all too much. But I'm scared for my parents and grandparents. Right. Yeah. I mean, my, my job's already suspended, so it doesn't matter if you fucking quarantine me or not. Like, fuck it. Well, when I say quarantine, it's, you know, it's not just you now have to just chill at home and mm-hmm. watch Netflix. Yeah. It's I only get to go out once a week to buy food, right? That's the... That's the I already do that. Right. Really? T- <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I guess you <laughs> will so, not be affected. <laughs> <laughs> so what mistake. about what about this this might be an issue what about uber eats do they can they like slide my meals and food through the through the door <laughs> slot or something decontaminated bro you know how many people yeah. i see who are like super worried about getting this virus but they're still going to fucking a starbucks every day or they're still going to like you know food yeah. center like you know fast food every day it's like bro that's probably the first like point of contact in a viral like infection for you to get hit but i mean if you're cool with that you're cool with it like, for me, the mm-hmm. simple act of, like, because usually, you know, I'll go for, like, a coffee or something. Like, I got my brother to come with me or, like, you know, that's that about it. But now we just kind of cut that out ourselves because we're like, why take the fucking risk, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, why go out that way? So that's, like, the first point of isolation that we've done. You can't let the virus win. You can't let it disturb your day-to-day uh, activities. Uh, you have to live the that. life no. without the fear. No. God, dude, you make it sound like 9-11 or some shit. What the fuck? <laughs> that's, this that's is worse than 9-11. Going, like, you can't let the that's the thing, though. This is far worse. This People are yeah. actually dying at a much higher rate. It's, you know, I, oh, yeah, no one died during 9-11? All right. That's a weird thing to die on. I, no, but they're, you know, <laughs> we keep hearing, oh, it's just, you know, just 1% of people dying. Yeah, but that's still hundreds of thousands of people. Uh-huh. That is so many yeah, fucking people. people. The people on Twitter are so fucking dumb. They're like, oh, people panicking over a virus that only kills 3% of people. 
out of you know that's that's such a stupid way of looking at it i read one where it was like if i gave you 100 skittles and said three will kill you you're probably not going to want those skittles right my thing is the panic is fucked up it's just the concept of like the the thing that the thing that gets me is like yeah the panic in my opinion is like what's wrong you shouldn't be panicking panicking right now but like there's people out there who are like like i saw one post where uh, it was it was Wubby who responded to like this chick who's like, well, everyone's sick, but like I, I'm gonna go to Disneyland and enjoy my life and live the best life. I'm like, mm-hmm. bitch, why the fuck are you going out there in the fucking first like relax? Why are you quit- bothering going yeah. to Disneyland at all? Because right? it's fucking closed, you idiot. Right. It's like, oh man, it's like you gotta you, you can't let it ruin your life. You have to go out there. Like, you, not everyone is gonna die from it. I'm like, I, I understand that. I get it. Not panicking, but like. It's like, why the fuck would you... There's a middle ground. There's a middle ground. Don't panic, but also be aware of the consequences and and take proper precautions. I don't go dancing around fucking power lines because of it. Like, I don't go, like, dancing around power lines or fucking, you know, standing in front of trains or anything. (laughs) What the fuck is wrong with you? (laughs) Just to make a point, too. So this was trending. I don't know if this was yesterday or today. I haven't slept yet. But this is from a woman called Katie Williams who who trended on Twitter single-handedly because she replied to a viral tweet and she said, I just went to a crowded Red Robin and I'm 30. It was delicious and I took my sweet time yeah. eating my meal because this is America and I'll do what I want. Dude, what nice. the fuck? The coronavirus doesn't care if you're American. <laughs> right. <They're> American. <laughs> it's, it's, it'll kill you regardless. It'll infect you regardless. <laughs> no, dude, it, it doesn't look, check it your passport. nationality is first, bro. <laughs> it's like third world? Yeah, you're fucked, bro. <laughs> So, uh, I, so she the, the funny thing is she's trying to sound patriotic, right? I'm American. I'm not scared of a virus. If you're really patriotic, you don't want your own countrymen to die, right? You don't want your elders to die. Sure, yeah. you might be safe. They will not be. Don't be a dickhead. Just what, real, You have to go to fucking Red Robins. Seriously, just fucking Bro, cook it's something like, at home. It's the American dude, way. Those people are like contrarians, dude. Like, you're always going to find those groups of people that yeah. have to be like the fucking, you know, just against whatever the fuck is popular. Like, they've got to be, they, they just got to be against anybody. That's it, all right? Like, that's all, that's all they are. It's just really stupid. It's not like, I, I, I don't understand. You wouldn't want to get the influenza anyway, even if you knew that it w- wouldn't kill you. It's a horrible thing to have. It, oh, it can yeah. cause yeah. permanent damage still to to your lungs and such, so you shouldn't want coronavirus regardless. Yeah, but think of you how cool you can be on Twitter. It's all about being tough, Jackson, and being <laughs> different yeah, and I guess, special. I guess I'm not. But so if you if you were on YouTube, you'd enjoy being the first one to call yourself coronavirus infected. Let's be real here. I, I actually <laughs> cannot believe that hasn't happened yet. I'm stunned. <laughs> Well, then does it really even exist? Maybe this is like a... So that's the thing too, right? Is I sent this to Jackson earlier. It's people bragging, you know, they say, well, and to be fair, in the past one or two weeks, we also said the same, well, it's just a flu if we are young, we can tough it out. But now we have new data. No, I didn't say that. Well, we implied, well, okay, t- look, to be fair, this moves very fast. So I don't think any of us took it as seriously as it is right now, right? My point right. is just I that took it it's serious. not just a sniffle or a flu. According to just new data now, even if you're young and very fit and you survive the flu, the woo flu, the whatever the fuck you want to call it, you can still be left with permanent lung damage, apparently. So this from Business yeah, Insider, the headline for anyone who wants to look this up says, some people who recover from the coronavirus might be left with 20 to 30% less lung function and gasping for breath when they walk quickly, Hong Kong doctors said. More or less pneumonia. So, Fuck, you still don't want to get it, man. Still, Even if you're young, even if you're at very low risk of dying, you still don't want to get this shit. I wonder how that, uh, I think, I don't remember his name, but the the um, basketball player who got it, who got coronavirus, I wonder yeah. when he recovers, how bad he's going to be at the game now. You mean the one who, he he made a joke Touched out of the, the virus mics, yeah. and he tra- he made a point out of touching all of the mics and turns out he was positive and he spread it around yeah. what an, what an oh, asshole God, dude. <laughs> dude. dude i imagine when he comes shit. back from the the coronavirus he'll just be fucking face down on the floor just going from one side of the court to the other <laughs> He still plays in the game. <laughs> He's gonna be just gonna be covering the cover covering the court and COVID nineteen. Well, yeah, that's their yeah defensive strategy. If you give the other team coronavirus, they can't win. <laughs> what is it? Biological warfare in the NBA, bro. <laughs> it's bro, the ultimate strategy, bro. That's some that's some UN violation right there. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> just fucking unleash some mustard gas in the locker room. Just some fucking Wuhan yeah. flu. <laughs> 
<laughs> that, that's all was gonna happen in like the what the Tokyo Olympics and shit. They were just gonna bring that oh, and fucking do it. They they're should. canceling. They're canceling that bitch, man. Yeah. They're canceling everything. Every sport is canceled. Gone. Yeah. I thought baseball was going to survive, but they even took that away from us. I think this would be the first interesting oh, Olympics dude, ever if it was just made entirely of uh, like coronavirus victims <laughs> doing sports. <laughs> just wheezing. That's, that's the Olympics I want to see. That'd be, that'd, yeah. be the, that'd be the ultimate special Olympics, bro. Fuck. If they win gold, they might get the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They're all wheezing, just walking up to the start line. It would be oh. pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm thinking about that now, that's fucked up. So all of the scare no, might give up. some of you, you know, it might be putting you on edge, but we do have some sort of a way to relieve all that, don't we, Andrew? Yeah, we do. We do. Um, listen, guys, countless products promise to promote wellness. There's drastic diets, there's extreme fitness routines, there's over-the-top supplement regimens. <laughs> oh yeah, bring back leeching. Yeah. That, that always worked. <laughs> that didn't just make things worse. Bleach your ass, boys. It won't go <laughs> up your ass if you bleach it, right? You know? And who says that taking care of yourself needs to be so hard? That's why there is Caliper CBD. Caliper believes that everyone deserves to feel better naturally and that drastic changes shouldn't be required. That's why they made a more precise and reliable CBD product that's easier to take than the typical CBD oil. You get the benefits of CBD in a tasteless, dissolvable powder that your body absorbs rapidly. You can feel better naturally without upending your lifestyle. Boys, I took CBD regularly for a while for a myriad of things. And I gotta tell you, not having to down that oil, it's, ooh, it's, it's so nice. It's a great feeling, because that oil is just, it's icky, it's thick, sometimes it upsets your tummy. Mm -hmm. It's not great. Caliper, sorry, Jesus, Caliper CBD believes everyone deserves a little piece in their pocket. They're the first to provide consistent, convenient, and precise CBD in a water-soluble powder. You can rediscover your best self with a CBD product that's clinically proven to be superior than the standard CBD oils. And it comes in an affordable 10 and 30 count packs that you can get started with for just under $20. You can get 20% off your first order if you use promo code OFFICIAL at tricaliper.com. You can, uh, sorry, tricaliper.com slash official. So that's tricaliper.com slash official and also enter in promo code official for 20% off of your first order. Caliper is so sure you'll love their product. They offer a 30 day money back guarantee. If you're feeling a little not so great, try Caliper CBD. Mm -hmm. also, uh, not to derail too hard from coronavirus, but did we want to go over some of my short stories I wrote as a child? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't well, excited. Oh, we should, we oh, should, Charlie, those can wait. Come give on. Context. <laughs> do we have to be like? Do we get to be like individual characters in it too? Well, I wrote Ooh. them. I, I guess we do need context. It was a bonus episode. Uh, during yeah. the bonus episode, I don't remember how we got there, but Jackson was talking about his series of naked banana books that he wrote as a kid, where he had like a banana. That doesn't need context. Yeah, we he, can just move past that. Him and naked like his sixth books. grade friend used to write like banana books where they had cock and balls out or some shit. And it reminded me <laughs> it's that I used to write stories. Yeah, I, it, it reminded me that I used to write those stories as well. So I asked my mom if she ever kept any of them. It turns out she kept every single one, so now I have this, like, fucking compendium of Nutty Noodle Man and Moon Ninja. <laughs> she happened to have so my banana cocks anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that, dude, when you, back. When, collector's trading cards. When you mention mom have that, dude, that, that brings back some fucked memories, dude. When you mention mom having your stories, it reminds oh. me of fucking my mom. Dude, so, like, the fucked up thing about YouTube is, like, the shit that, like, fans come up with and they, like, draw about you and they, like, post on the internet. So, I like to say mm -hmm. that for most, you know, YouTubers, their biggest their biggest fan is always their mom, you know? Like, oh, mom always checks out my videos here and there. In my case, I always wish that wasn't the case, you know what I mean? Because, like, we've had some weird conversations over the phone sometimes, right? It's like, well, Muda, what the fuck is, a, what, what is, like, Findom? Like, she asked me that, like, nearly a year ago, yeah. so... It's a good good conversation. So like, wait, what is what? Findom, Findom. like finan yeah, Findom. financial like cuck slaving and shit. Oh, yeah. Findom, yeah. bro, Findom. Fin you know, okay, like, sorry. Bitch, hey, give me money. Hey, like, you know, we talked about it a couple episodes ago. Yeah, we talked yeah, about hey, this last episode. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. 
Pay pigs. So like, step like, on my nuts and I'll give you money. So no, not no, even no, step not, on my it's nuts. Not even it's step literally on my just nuts. give it's me like, money. Bitch, give me money right now. What the fuck are you yeah. doing? What do you? What do you? You got paid, motherfucker? Give me like thirty bucks. Right? <laughs> buy, buy me whatever. That's that's what Finn Dom. That's like, literally it, all it is. Yeah. Fuck your children. Like you give me that money. Fuck their tuition Bro, money. like, if you looked, if if you looked at the evolutionary ladder of like cuckoldry and shit, like, I can't even believe I even said know. that. You know, like, <laughs> like you've got you've got human being, you've got like cock, all right, like, and then you've got like the simps, and then you've got this fucking fin dom shit at the very corner, like the primordial goo of like cucks are below yeah. simps. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> fucking disgust. Yeah, I mean, so, but, no, okay, dude, so would you? No, because cucks get pussy sometimes. Like, some yeah, I, I, yeah. Do, yeah. I have to agree. Well, hmm. they get close to it, all right? Okay, maybe they... they yeah, uh, but they... Yeah, but I guess they, they can smell yeah. it. At least the simps get off to the fantasy that they... So they delude themselves and think that the woman they're paying five bucks a month to is theirs, and that woman cares about them, whereas cucks, they actively get off to the fantasy that another man fucks their woman. So Yeah, c cucks is more pathetic to me. Yeah. Right. I don't know yeah. where I would I mean, rank I, I, guess, I guess in terms of... Dude, they're, like, very low. Like, we're talking I, fucking the lowest the of the too. low. Like embarrassingly low, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you below get nothing cucks. out of it. Oh yes, yeah. Yo, think that way below, below cucks, cucks, bro. Like I'm telling you, the evolutionary ladder right there, dude. Cucks are at least. You'd rather you know, watch someone fuck your girlfriend than just give but, a woman money. Okay, I'm what just about be real. in any situation like that? No, but I mean, so, you know, you have to look at it from a mentality of a cuck, right? Like I don't know what the fuck they think. <laughs> can we agree then that if you're a if you're a pay pick cuck, you're lower than the coronavirus? On the just oh ladder my God, of that's awful. <laughs> life. Yeah, it's like weapon X of losing. I feel, right I feel there. like was, if you're if you're in the zero. I, like if you're in the cuck situation, like anywhere in there, I think getting coronavirus might be like a benefit to you. You know what I mean? Like it's just <laughs> it it, it adds some spice to your life that you were obviously <laughs> missing, right? I, that's mm -hmm. a good point. They might like it. I'm sure there's somebody out there fetishizing, like, yeah, the bull, the, the bull is healthy, but I have coronavirus. I can't touch my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, you know? Hooked up to an IV machine watching your wife get fired <laughs> by a bull. Get it, As he comes, your heart, be, heart monitor stops. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <Viral Flat virus. laughs> As you choke on lung failure. Yeah. My life so, is complete. Muda, that's... Yeah. The thing about the, uh, you know, our, our mothers liking our stuff is funny to me because mine just, she has no idea. And if she did, she would hate it because every single time she asks me, she still doesn't know, really. It's been like three years and she's still very much in the dark. And it's always, Kaya, you don't talk about political stuff. You don't swear, do you? Please don't swear on the internet. So, <laughs> I, Bro, your mom's so innocent. I love Don't it. worry, yeah. Miss Orson. We take care of your boy. If you're listening, <laughs> she, he's she never said care. a naughty word in his life. He's a good boy. Dude, she can't know, man. If, if, if this fucking virus does her in, at least come on. She has to pass <laughs> knowing she has how would she I'm a good feel, person. How would she feel? How would she feel in your honest opinion, knowing that you, you've got a post that you come over and you're willing to sell that to someone that will kill her before the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> If I really wanted to speed it up, if I wanted to do some assisted suicide, I would just tell her what I do on the internet. <laughs> I jack up onto a cheetah poster. Yeah, yeah, that was always that was always a fun conversation when my mom first found out. And then like, what really kind of pushed it over the edge was there was this one dude who drew like this this hentai of me like fucking an Asari oh, from Mass Effect. <laughs> so so oh, like they oh hard. dude. Dude, I gotta be real with you. Like, it was weird at first, but like when my mom showed it to me, I'm like, wow, that's disgusting. But in my head, I was like, that's some really good fucking drawing, dude. Like, the line composition is all there. I feel kind of fucking <laughs> honored, you know? Like, it looked really fucking good, you know? And then, like, and then she found more. And then I'm looking at it, I'm like, dude, it's like a treasure trove of like hentai about me, dude. Like, in, in, to her, I was like, yeah, it's disgusting. And then she was like, she was so innocent. She's like, can you delete this off the internet? I'm like, you know, once it's it on there, it's, you know, right? Like, once it's on there, it's kind of on there, Ma. I really don't know what to do. She should just but, embrace it, start putting it on the fridge, yeah. put magnets on it and shit. <laughs> Speaking yeah, of. I was going to say, send it to her as a, like a Christmas card. Okay, yeah, enough of a tangent. Charlie, how many <laughs> of the, your little fan fictions, your childhood fanfics, do oh, you yeah, have? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I want to oh, get back hold to on, this. Hold on, let me let me grab Give my like, uh, yeah. my folders real quick. <laughs> this the filthiest one, dude. In the meantime, Andrew, I think you have something to tell us. All right, let's let's take a peek at the old dossier. Oh yeah, over here. while while Charlie's setting up, I can tell you guys about something interesting I found on so, the internet. Like, where would I go if I needed? Like, cheap fan fiction written so, about me, Andrew. Yeah. 
if you if you didn't want to hire Charlie, let's say that Charlie's fan fiction or Charlie's children's stories were not up to snuff, you could maybe use a website to find freelance talent for your business or project. And that website that I would recommend is Fiverr. Mm -hmm. Because thanks to Fiverr, finding the right freelancer doesn't have to be a struggle. Fiverr's marketplace helps you get more done with less. Fiverr connects businesses with freelancers who offer hundreds of digital services, including graphic design, copywriting, web programming, film editing, and even maybe fan fiction writing. You can mm -hmm. delve into their depths of talent and see what they've got for you. Find what you're looking for instantly. Search by service, deadline, price, reviews, way more. Customer and you can sell your time 24-7. By the way, it's That's not true. just you, can even you don't just have to be a customer. You can be a seller. Do you have some skill? Do you are you good at art? Any art? Any sort of even no matter how depraved fan fiction writing, graphic design, coding, figures, bro. you can simply go to Fiverr and you know, market your skills. Especially in That's this economy right. now with the virus, where you have to kind of work from home. Most of us do at least. So try, give it a shot. That's why you can take five and check out Fiverr.com. That's F-I-V-E-R-R.com, two R's. And you'll receive 10% off your first order by using code OFFICIAL. It's so easy. Don't waste any more time and get the service you deserve by going to F-I-V-E-R-R.com, code OFFICIAL, Fiverr. It starts here, $5 or somewhere around there for a simple, easy service you may need. Mudahar, if you signed yourself up for Fiverr, what would you give the people? I would give them my finest dick figure drawings that I've ever come up with. I'm a real expert when it comes to that, and I think I could really benefit the masses by providing can, them with I can my... tell it by your tone. You're confident. You're selling it well. It would probably be one of the highest selling products on the website. And you can find out what the highest selling things on the website are by going to Fiverr.com, 10% off code mm. official. Mm -hmm. Charlie, are you ready? Yeah, so if I had to put like a number of novellas that I wrote, it, it's looking like maybe 15. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> so that's 15 <laughs> episodes worth of content. That's pretty yeah, good. That's, but there's like, okay. they're very scattered manuscripts. Like, for example, I just have one here. <laughs> I'll show the camera. It's called Chapter One. And it's uh, the story of Tick and Drake, from what I can gather. I don't want you so to spoil it. Like, Tick and Drake? Yeah. Spoil it. How many? What are you waiting for, uh, yeah, Charlie? Okay. How many? The blockbuster movie, Charlie. How many franchises do you think you have? <laughs> oh wow! I, I found, so <laughs> how many characters are in the Charlie cinematic universe? <laughs> well, you you laugh, but I almost took over the world with Nutty Noodle Man. So I have two full Nutty Noodle Mans, two full Moon Ninjas, and then five <laughs> Nutty Noodle Man sequels that I had in the works. We have uh, Nutty Noodle Man versus the Idiotic Insects. <laughs> Nutty Noodle Man vs. the Dumb Dinosaurs, Nutty Noodle Man vs. the Idiotic Aliens, and Nutty Noodle Man vs. the Cool Cows. <laughs> they sound like Captain Underpants titles. Bro. I was very clearly influenced by Captain Underpants, I imagine. <laughs> the Dumb Dinosaurs, what's that part? I never got to it. Those no were in the works. No, those did, you get to the, did you get to the Cool Cows? Yeah, I actually found, well, I don't mm. have the Nutty Noodle Man crossover, but I have <laughs> the Cool Cow Adventures Chapter 1. Oh, you dude, know what we should do is read these and then crowdsource the sequels, is let people write a <laughs> sequel on our Reddit and such and just pick the best one. That's not a bad idea. That is a pretty fucking cool idea. Okay, yeah, so bro, which I one... the Cool Cow lore. Which one would you like to read today, Charlie? How many pages is it anyway? Uh, I figured I'd just start with this one page for what what is I can only imagine is called chapter one Tick and Drake because that's all I have. So if, Ooh, if how old how old were you when you wrote these? Six or seven, maybe eight. <laughs> okay, okay. The seven year old mind of Charlie. Do you have any of your recent work? Well, I want to see how it compares. <laughs> I can't say <laughs> any of that. <laughs> it's just the same. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Noodle man. Well, if you go by titles, my recent work is The Man Who Forgot How to Poop. That sounds like some Nutty Noodle Man shit. <laughs> yeah, well, it really does. Nutty Noodle Man too much. Really yeah. haven't progressed. <laughs> Bro, yeah. that was me not too long ago. That, that's too personal. Fuck. I know, man. Oh. All right, let's hit it. Chapter one. Once there was a man. The man was a wimp no matter what. His name was Drake. This is the story of Drake. This man called Drake was always pushed around. <laughs> one day, Tick, Drake's unliked classmate, told Drake to prepare for a beating. 
They were at the edge of Rocky Point. <laughs> one of the biggest cliffs in the town. <laughs> hey, say what, you, say what you want, but that's a polite bully letting him know that he's coming at him with intentions for beating him. It's like an anime villain. <laughs> Prepare for a beating. Right. <laughs> yeah, are we witnessing that anime could have been written by five-year-olds? <laughs> Charlie, Maybe. how big I were their auras are. when they said that? Were they powering up? I, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't even know who I was picturing. Yeah, bro, this is a power level there, dude. Just yeah, fucking we, just we, ramped. Was this based off real life? Are you bullied at eight? No, I, I was never bullied or anything. I don't know where it came from. I thought maybe I just wanted to tell a compelling story. Well, maybe Charlie was Tick. He was the With beater. Villains. Well, it, it's, it's a perfectly written story. We have the characters, their motivations. We've been told the rising action. I'm ready for the climax. Yeah, keep. All right. Go. All right, let's go. Tick said, hey, Drake, you got nowhere to go but in that swamp. So Tick just pushed Drake off the cliff. Drake landed in that dirty swamp. It was deep. Real deep. But he got out. But then Tick slipped in the swamp as well. Man, did he get out? I don't know. Jesus, I'm fucking on are the edge there, of my seat. Are, are there pictures? Are there pictures included? No, no pictures. I, oh, I, I tell the story. Dude. I paint a picture with words, Andrew. <laughs> I know, it's really vivid. People fall in the swamp. Yeah, yeah, it's like a Stephen King novel. Oh. Keep going. <laughs> no, bro, con continue. We need to hear more. This is grabbing me, dude. Yeah. The next day, both were sick. When they went to their job, they both were talking gibberish. After that, they both started farting like crazy. They ran like crazy to their car and drove home. Both went to sleep at home. Tick and Drake became very stupid for a week. But they got better over time. <laughs> That's so topical. <laughs> Only a week. <laughs> Only a week. <laughs> Only a week, boys. <laughs> did, did they buy all the toilet paper, too? <laughs> yeah, they might have been. Yeah, did they stock up on toothpaste and shit? I couldn't tell you, but good news is they did God. get better over time, and that's uh, that's where chapter one Char concludes. Charlie, your stories are literally just, and then this thing happened, but then bro, they got better. And that sounds like Game of Thrones season eight. Yeah, <laughs> bro, he's keeping me on the edge of my seat. It's just right. It's just a roller coaster of emotions. I like Anything it. could happen, but thankfully everything will be resolved immediately. <laughs> right. Well, that's the good job, Andrew, critiquing eight-year-old Charlie. <laughs> his screenwriting abilities. <laughs> Andrew's giving oh, yeah, up fifty percent on a tomato meter <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on man it was, it was a good attempt there yeah, I, thought, hey. I thought we had something with yeah. Tick and hey, Drake the art should stand on its own without the artist I'm I just agree. critiquing yeah. it from oh a, wait was that the end a, they just get yeah, stupid that was where chap oh. that was chapter no, no, no. one dude that was oh, fantastic yeah, they got wow. better over a week. That was that okay. was super interesting from start to finish. I like how you didn't meander. You didn't get too fluffy with your yeah. language. It was great. We didn't get no. we didn't get lost in any side quests. Yeah, I like that just cliffhanger, you go the man. Swamp, you get fall in, dude. Yeah. Tick and Drake. Were you it's watching like... Drake and Josh? Perhaps <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I think what it was was Drake and the Ninety Nine Dragons. Oh God, why would you do that one? Dude, mm -hmm. why? Uh, when you said Tick, I thought you actually were like the character oh. Tick. I was like, huh. That's what kind of a that cute reference. Yeah. Yeah, right? Like, you know, the blue dude. I'm finding a lot more in here as I go through it. This is called, uh, I won't read anymore, we can save it, but this is called Mystery Banana, The Beginning. <laughs> Jackson, your artwork banana. did get stuck Mystery in there. Mystery Banana? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Let's save that one for you a bonus just next give week. A title like that, yeah. Save weight. Yeah, save one, one story per week for per or per episode sounds like a good deal. Yeah, this, I think we may have had a. I, I hope it's extremely pornographic and like <laughs> to script like mine. <laughs> Dude, you, should, you should go to. <laughs> you should go to. Yeah, you should go to. Uh, you should go to Fiverr and get an animation. <laughs> Describing his eight inch cock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You should, I'm, I'm just saying delightful. you should go to. You should go to Fiverr and like get those animated. I'd, yeah. I'd pay for that. <laughs> Maybe we need Tick and Drake. That's actually not a bad idea. Oh, this is I called mean, Alien watch. Intruders. Oh. It, oh no, okay, I now it does sound like a, like one of them, th you know, novels for the women. Hentai? Er erotic novels. No, with the, oh. like, you mm. know, the ones with... How the fuck do you get to women erotic novels with alien <laughs> invasion? That could be so oh, broad. <laughs> no, Muda, you know those novels where it's just... Every single time it's a dude with his abs exposed and the title is something like Aliens Fuck Me In My Butt. It sounds like yeah, that a little. Chuck, you mean by Chuck Tingle? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Chuck we Tingle. need to talk about our, uh, our Book of the Month Club shit because that sounds <laughs> fucking way more exciting than what I look at. Fuck. <laughs> abs and uh, mm, shit, dude. That's, uh, that sounds kind of hot. Fuck.
Do women do women masturbate more to books than porn? No, 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 no. Perc- do women percentage masturbate to books? Wa- percentage wise, yes. More women get off to like novels and books and stories than How do you images. read and masturbate? They get in the fantasy. Well, you hold it with one hand and you go to town with the other. <laughs> yeah. If the book's that it's good, you can tell me with two hands. Do you require both hands to masturbate? No, I require both hands to read. Let's uh, <laughs> let's, re- <laughs> let's release these as PDFs and we can find out. <laughs> Flicking her bean to Nutty Noodle Man and ticking <laughs> oh. Jesus, noodle. What is, is that? Noodle that's, a good, that's a good ethical question, you... Charlie. If you did that, is that child pornography? Well, if you put those right. out there and people <laughs> masturbated to it, think about it. <laughs> he wrote them when he was eight years old. Yeah, well, but he's the yeah, author of him, yeah. not the subject. Yeah, but t- yeah. Tick and Drake aren't eight years old. Okay, that's yeah, exactly. Fair. They had their own jobs. Yeah, but it's pornography what, what, what produced what by a child. Do for a living, wait, fuck. Yeah, but I mean, it's pornography made by a child. Then it would be child author pornography, which is a weird term. I yeah. don't even like ah. using it. <laughs> the subtle difference. Yeah, wait, dude, thanks. Now, now the white, now the white van outside my house is a fucking reason. Thanks. Dude. <laughs> Their ears just perked up. <laughs> the it's like finally we can bust him, dude. Fuck. <laughs> we just we like, got the evidence we need. In, Interpol and the CIA arrested child pornography ring, but they're all just authors, like all the children. <laughs> just, that's what they were yeah, after. Right. Is a f- fucking they author's get their club. concubines together and go, yeah, write me a story. Ooh, tell me a tale. <laughs> yeah, Commander walks in. So what'd you find, sir? You know, I found I found a ring to bust. You know, like FBI is going all honesty. Fuck. Is that that nutty noodle man? Oh, yeah, the nutty. You know. <laughs> he struck again. <laughs> he was only eight when he wrote this fucking pervert. <laughs> Ima- imagine his power level now that he's fucking 20, bro. <laughs> they put Charlie's ass in jail. <laughs> <laughs> What's the statute of limitations, yeah, damn it? Now for <laughs> yeah, like the, the judge I mean, goes, they well, were, he's... Dude, they were waiting for the perfect time. <laughs> the judge goes, well, he's over 18 now. What do you want me to do? I can't lock him up. Oh, man. <laughs> Charlie, could you imagine the implications? Time. <laughs> could you imagine the implications if instead his name was Nutting Noodle Man? Oh Ooh. man, that, uh, that'd be well, I'd be so ahead of my time with that, bro. That's the <laughs> remake right there. Yeah, yeah. Nuts didn't even exist back then. That's not as that slang term. No, we should, you're right. Yeah. Well, well, busted, no, actually, Busta Nut was a thing, just not like nutting. But yeah, Busta Nut was definitely a thing back then. Was it? I don't know. Ahead of your time. I have I no recall, recollection bro. of when I was eight. I think we need to go into the good old time machine and figure that one out. Fuck. Yeah. But you guys were you guys were eight and I was like five, so <laughs> That's true. Yeah, what is, is someone that we would have heard it. Yelling a protest in the back? Who's making that noise? <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's Kata <laughs> It's Kata playing with a dog toy. <laughs> it sounded Somebody. like a child complaining. Uh, it definitely does sound like a protest or something outside of like a, a meat factory. <laughs> <laughs> Protesting nutty noodle or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah they heard it. They're already sickened. They Keep this perversion away want. from our children. We're like Pornhub right now. Did you guys see that? <laughs> so in Italy right now, you guys have heard, I'm sure, that Italy is under quarantine, like 16 million something people. And mm-hmm. uh, the church How many announced that. people? 16 something, I think. A Jesus lot of them. fucking Christ. Yeah, dude. millions of people. Wait, 16? I think so, yeah. yeah Way bro. more than that, surely. That would be a smaller population than Australia. It's all of Italy that's under quarantine. Could be, yeah. Well, my point is, so the church announced that all churches would be closed. Like 60 million. And Pornhub announced that all porn, their premium services would be free in Italy. Holy fuck. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I said I said sixty million. Italy's population is sixty million exactly. Oh, fucking nailed that okay. monster. Wow. Yeah, that's one for the record books, baby. So maybe it is our duty to release these chat locks for free. Charlie, that is so <laughs> distracting. <laughs> it sounds like like vegan activists outside of your home just protesting yeah, really. with a megaphone. <laughs> <laughs> what is that toy? Really, does it, is really it one? Does it just play a an MP3 of Justin Bieber every time it's bitten? What is that? I think yeah, it's bring, I think it's barnyard animal noises. 
It sounds like a dude. Dope. It sounds like some fucking SNES game. Just like listen to it real close. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it sounds like, sounds like, those like a off-brand SNES game. It sounds like when you take it sounds like a rubber chicken getting fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah a little bit. You know, I wasn't gonna jump to that, but I'm glad you got the frame of reference for it. Don't worry, I'm an expert in that field. <laughs> Well, What's speaking of experts, you're also an expert in the fashion field, I'd imagine, Andrew, yes? Oh, absolutely, 100%. That's why I often wear movement watches. Mm -hmm. You know, do, do you, one of you boys want to take movement? They've been a, a long-time sponsor. I think we all have nice things to say about movement. Jackson. Oh, well, movement watches are just beautiful timepieces that you can get for a cost-effective price at mvmt.com slash official that they're really just just the best timepieces that money can buy. And like I said, they're, they're extremely um, inexpensive, I would say. The company was started by two college dropouts, and now they've sold over 2 million watches in over 160 countries. So you know it's a, a proven... Uh, a proven route to wearing the best quality watches that you can buy. <laughs> you can get me to buy anything. At least close the door. Charlie, just so distracting to hear camels fuck in the back. Whatever that is. <laughs> so, <laughs> to continue on with movement, movement watches start at just $95. You're looking at $400 for the same quality from a traditional brand. So $95, that's that's pretty good in my and books. And it's, it's online uh, delivery. You don't have to go to the store and haggle with some man who's going to not only, you know, kind of screw you over on the face. price yeah. and give you a virus. You get to order this online and it will be shipped to your door without any diseases. Mm -hmm. To get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns, like Kaya just said, by going to mvmt.com slash official. That's mvmt.com slash official. They're launching new styles on their site all the time, so go check it out, mvmt.com slash official. Join the movement. That's Thank you. right. Mm -hmm. I personally mm -hmm. have owned yeah. five different movement watches in my lifetime. I've given away three of them as gifts, and every time they go, man, what a great looking watch. Check yeah, them we out. We all love movement. Yeah, and we all, all of us do. They all, because it's on our ordered online instead of in person, they also go, wow, this is nice. This did not give me a fever. This is, this is What's really, really again? sweet. Can I get that? That is mvmt.com slash official. Mm -hmm. mm, I might get the Black Talk Caviar. You guys got me sold? They're pretty mm. nice. Yeah, they look If you really become nice. Andrew's friend, he might give you one for your birthday. Oh my I God, still have one extra one left. You never know. You might be on my Christmas list. Oh my God. <laughs> We should talk more, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so are you you're trying to schmooze in on my friendship just to get a watch? Yeah. Look, if, you become, if you become his boyfriend, An he'll MVMT give you more. Watch. <laughs> Wait, I mean, a movement I mean, watch, though, Andrew. I mean, the way, the way you build it, I got, I, got, I got to smooth in somehow, right? Fuck. Mm -hmm. Is I'm just going to be real. Your, your ad reads are so good. You could get me to download Raid Shadow Legends, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you, could, you could win. You'd be the one dude to convince me, honestly. That'd be the best. Hey, man, uh, did you guys hear that? Did you ad companies out there hear that? The mm -hmm. fucking Ordinary Gamer is is hyping up our ad reads. Mm, maybe we're the yeah. show to get on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please send us more movement watches. A lot yeah. of people Look, are going to be locked up in home these days watching podcasts. Cashing on it, you guys. How long do you Sponsor think us. it's going to last for? How long do you think that's going to last for people locked up in their homes? I think it's going to be a couple months well, at least, right? Not... Like with the with the virus and shit. Oh, definitely. But what do you mean locked up? Yeah. Do you mean mandated lockup by the you government? Mean, like I mean, this. Well, like you know, most of the stay at home kind of you know work from home, do what you can, like don't come to work kind of uh, shit. So like I, well, if you mean self imposed, I think well over a year. And but I think it has one silver mm -hmm. lining at least, which is again what I told Jackson earlier. We talked about this a lot. Is the one silver lining is I think that a lot of boomer run businesses are going to see the point in or they're going to see that working from home might be a viable option rather than just yeah. calling everyone right. to work all the time. Because I get the, why you need uh, your employees to do manual labor to come into work. But if you know you have an IT guy and all he does is check your whatever the fuck he, he does, email maintenance or server maintenance or something like that, or he, he right. works on your website, does he really need to come into work? Probably not, man. Well, you can probably work from home. So yeah. I think a Usually lot of depends on where you are, yeah. learn that. It's kind of funny to think about how this is one of the most advantageous times that the virus could have happened. Because think about if this had happened maybe just even what? 20, 30 years ago, 
just how fucked the economy would be if everyone had to stay home because of a pandemic yeah. and no one could go to work. Yeah, but At now least we with have the so internet. many people having options, yeah, with the internet and home delivery and so many people having different online options for work, mm -hmm. it's it's not nearly as impactful to everything as it could have been. Yeah. So. Yeah. At least that's something. Yeah, small silver lining. I just, lining, I just I hope. I just, I just hope it gets cleared up sooner. You know, it's just, it's. Uh, I mean, like lately, I just got to deal with family pretty much. You know, staying at home. Like I've got my aunt's kids who are like excited as fuck. Oh, we don't have to go to school or anything. And I'm just kind of like, man, where, where Yay, the fuck we might die? Like, yeah. You know? Well, they're well, the like, oh, we die. get to stay home and play Fortnite all no. day. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah, it's great. But I'm just like, damn. Like, I, I, I see that, like, when school shut down for, like, three, four weeks, I'm like, bro, this is kind of fucked. I mean, you know, like, I, I used to, like, it, you know, I went from, like, it's just, because I was one of those people where I was like, don't panic, don't panic as much, don't panic. And then now it's like when I see the government's fully, like, shut down and, like, pretty much half the infrastructure yeah. is gone overnight. You know, that's it's kind of freaky shit. I mean, that, that's when mm -hmm. you got to take it super duper seriously, right? Because it's like, you have to understand, it, it, all of this probably comes from, like, doctors who are telling you not to do it so when the doctors are telling you it's probably pretty fucked up internationally right yeah i i think you know jackson you said this is the first time you've ever seen me take something seriously like a mass panic right mm -hmm. and i think at yeah. this point yeah you know this is the first time i've ever seen any major news events last more than a week or two uh, because that's usually i like the implication lifespan. there that kai is Kai's opinion on it, like an event is what determines its severity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Kai I don't mean it like that. <laughs> I, I know you don't mean it like that, but it, that's it's the point though, right? Level Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> Death con, bro. This is a five on the Kaya alert level. A, like the presidents, they all cite me like, dude, he cares yeah. now. <laughs> it's, like the, it's like the highest DEF CON we, level right we've now. We've just gotten it. word that Kaya Orson gives but, a shit. This is not a I drill. Think, <laughs> this is a serious problem. No, I don't think you, I'm trying to sound, I'm not trying to sound arrogant. I think you guys know what I mean is, you know, every other news event usually just lasts for like two days. This World War Three shit died within 48 hours, but this has been going on for a while mm -hmm. now. So that's, it's a sign to me that maybe there's something well, to this. Not, and we need it's to not take just it that seriously. it's been going it's not just that it's been going on for a while because it, while it has, it hasn't been like a super long time or anything. It's that it's constantly evolving and, yeah. and increasing in the severity and, of and it. And just That's how what, contagious it is and how fast it's moving. Getting That's worse and thing. worse. Yeah. So like, yeah. Yeah, you know, like I said, I think I'm sure we sound kind of like uh, fucking or just a hoax, bro. Like fucking anti-vaxxers just two episodes ago. And then, you know, within two don't, minutes. Don't get started on the anti-vaxxers. Oh, this those fuckers. Waste of calm, bro. Have, have you noticed how they've been really quiet about this whole thing? <laughs> you know, they've been very in the background just sitting Oops. there like, uh. <laughs> I just got to say this to an anti-vaxxer. Like to anybody that's an anti-vaxxer out there. Look, I'm just going to be real from my perspective. I'd rather be a little fucking autistic than fucking dead. I'm just gonna put that up there, you know? Like, at, le at least if I'm autistic, like, guess what? At least I'm still breathing, you know? Maybe I know what a window is tastes like. For that. Actually, that, that's great. This is exactly the kind of situation that would frequently be happening if it weren't for vaccines of other right. contagious right. diseases. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, honestly, if we do develop a vaccine, they should be last in line. You don't want to vaccinate? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, the, dude ima imagine, imagine the fucking, like, uh, imagine the gymnastics, the mental gymnastics you're going to do to, like, fucking get out of it. Now they know the severity of the situation, but, I mean, fuck. So, there's already conspiracy, conspiracy theories theory about, I don't know if you guys have heard, but the conspiracy theory among the really ardent anti-vaxxers and some other conspiracy theorists is that this is not the virus, but it's actually the 4G, uh, sorry, 5G internet wavelength that is giving everyone radiation poisoning. So they oh, think... Uh, bro, yeah. what? So what they think is that, you know, 5G, it's, it's like radiation to people. And the first province, the first city where they tried this is Wuhan. So that, that's why it started there. You know, the companies just rolled out 5G as an experiment in Wuhan. That's why everyone got sick, they say, is it's actually 5G internet. Wouldn't so it be could... fucking wild if they turned out to be right? <laughs> yeah, well, do you have a better idea, Kyle? You want to spout some shit, you better have something to back it up. Well, look, I'm not a conspiracy. At least they're trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds helpful. Yeah. Okay. 
What a what a what a shame 5G would be the one to cause the coronavirus. I mean, okay, but like here's the thing. You're telling him to find proof. How the fuck is the correlation there? Come on now. How the fuck do radio waves make a fucking well, biological see, five... virus? I don't know. The Chinese have 5G. What right? You said that? I don't I know who does. I think I, the I world think... has 5G now. Yeah. yeah. No, well, no, the I world does, now but I think cities right now, I think I think most companies have not rolled it out yet, the actual 5G, and so the yeah. conspiracy... Because it's extremely dangerous. <laughs> we don't know causes the effects of 5G yet. Yeah. Yeah. Have you not been paying attention? They don't use yes. it because it causes coronavirus. They, no, so, no, oh, Jesus, Jackson, the coronavirus Down, is a hoax. Downloading hentai, downloading hentai in three <laughs> seconds on your mobile phone, man. Humanity tried to fucking evolve too fast. We weren't ready. <laughs> we flew too close to the sun. You can't, you can't download Charlie's fucking child author porn too fast, otherwise you'll get the disease. East. Right? <laughs> so, oh, yeah. so I'd even post it right here in the Discord. Social media can. Oh, yeah, fuck, dude. 5G. Mm -hmm. I mean, people will come with a conspiracy for anything, though. I mean, there's like this like article links to like a whole YouTube video, too. It's fucking. That, that's always great. I like the, you know, speaking of it, speaking of conspiracies, that's what makes me excited about YouTube in general, the conspiracy rabbit hole of YouTube. Like, when, anytime, like, you leave the autoplay on, like, late at night, and it's just like you wake yeah. up in the morning and it's like a lizard, like, here's how the lizards are taking over your fucking bank account in the morning. Like, bro, we're... Yeah. How did I go, how did I go from a Linus Tech Tips video to this overnight? Like, where was, like, where was the correlation? <laughs> so I, I'll tell you how it's it goes. You know, so the lizards won. Linus Tech Tech uh, Tech Tips reviewing the new phone to reviewing five G to is five G causing coronavirus to <laughs> the Jews did it. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, that's the oh, yeah, that's dude. a breadcrumb trail. It, it always gets back to the Jews doing it, man. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. You know what? We should we should we should just all do like a conspiracy hour. That that's that's what the future of it all should be. Fuck. I love conspiracy shit, man. I think conspiracy yeah, shit is some of the most fun stuff. YouTube's uh, harmless harmless conspiracies. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the anti vaxxers and shit really yeah. does just frustrate me. No, yeah, that's, that's, that's are you guys funny. are you guys telling me you all really don't believe in the flat Earth though? For real? <laughs> I can't. I mean, that's yeah. harmless. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's yeah, always the evidence from both sides. They they all always justify everything they believe with. Well, there's no actual images of it or this and that. So they use the same excuse for the flat Earth. For example, they say that all the photos that NASA takes, they say that's CG. We don't actually have any real images of the of the planet. And they say the same thing about viruses. They go, well, you know, did you know that no one's ever uh, taken an actual photo of a virus? It's all computer rendered. Uh, no one's ever <laughs> spoken or communicated with a virus before, Kaya. Yeah, did they're you know not that? real, dude. To be fair, yeah, we've never established contact we don't know what their terms are we don't even know if they're real <laughs> viruses are just we need to send a negotiator look man <laughs> has anyone tried morse Ms. code frizzle in the school bus <laughs> send in denzel washington <laughs> morse code what are we gonna telegraph the fucking virus now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, use like whale sounds <laughs> to communicate the with viruses it. are using 5g we should be able to communicate with them we just have to get on the, the right wavelength and then we can communicate with them. Well, apparently, that's what five G is intended for. <laughs> well, apparently, it's oh, the wrong way. Is five G the missing link between us and virus communication? Ooh, is allegedly, that, it's what let them get through to it us. It can't be the missing you link know, honestly, because that's, that would prove evolution, which is also hoax. Remember, mm, good point. <laughs> dude. No, your yeah, conspiracy is bro. bro. Creationism. Uh huh. The so, world was made in six days, okay? I don't care what the fuck you guys say, I'm just putting well, it out what, there. What I'm, what, what I'm wondering is, is there going to ever become a point where these conspiracies are so widely believed that then there's conspiracies about those conspiracies, and it's like conspiracyception? I, I hope so. I hope one day there is a new like this, yeah. younger Alex Jones going, dude, how can, how can people ever believe Alex Jones? He's so retarded. It's a conspiracy. He's telling people that vaccines don't work, but that's a conspiracy, bro. I hope that happens, so he gets a taste of his own medicine. You guys see, he got arrested recently. I mean, the globe is actually round. You gotta, you gotta realize <laughs> yeah. too, Wait, right? Like what? when the year three thousand hits or some shit, dude. They're, they're like the conspiracies are gonna be even fucking wilder, you know? Like let's say like humanity crumbles and shit in like the year twenty four hundred. We're gonna be like a previous civilization and some shit. Imagine like the year three thousand, like trying to make up for the fuck whatever we had, you know? Yeah, well... And the Bible's gonna be Professor Nutty or whatever. <laughs> 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 and it's like, I'm gonna turn I mean, out we couldn't stop better. it. It's like the May... It's way Mayan. better than if somebody finds uh, Sonic fan fiction. It's better than that. I mean, fuck. That's right. Better. Nutty Noodle Man's the savior. 
I'll be honest, though. I think we are the generation of just dashed hopes, man. So if you think about it, we, all of us, I don't know how old you are, Muta, but I know that the four of us here on the I'm podcast, a, we, grew up, man. we grew up with the hopes of, you know, one day we'll have flying cars and a zombie apocalypse. And instead we got, whatever, electric cars, which are, you know, they're cute. Have but you seen whatever. the fucking Pornhub recommendations nowadays? That's my future, bro. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Uh, you know, you thought right. flying cars? Yeah, we, we thought flying cars, and instead we got fucking electric cars, and, you know, instead of a zombie apocalypse, we get this fucking virus that kind of just kills our grandpas, which is really lame. <laughs> you know, it's it just, it's not as extreme, it's the, also the not boomer nothing. boomer removers, people call it? Yeah, oh my god. But, but I can pay my favorite Twitch streamers money. And they'll so recognize technology isn't me, all too bad. Only fans well, is the future, baby. Yeah. Do you have an yeah. OnlyFans? Not yet. We'll get there one day. One day. Can guys can guys have OnlyFans? Has there been a successful uh, well, I mean, male? Take, take a picture of your asshole and put it up there. We'll find <laughs> out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jack Strand, I can tell you that this much: no one's ever wanted to pay me fifty thousand dollars so far. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, you post a picture of your starfish. You never know, dude. You might get one. <laughs> That is going to get out there eventually. That is an interesting question, actually. I don't think I've heard of any uh, male only fans. It's a sexist industry. I hate it. Dude, it's like porn. Porn is just sexist in general, bro. Like, us guys get no recognition, dude. Right, well, that's not true. Uh, Manuel mm -hmm. Ferreira. Yeah. He's pretty big. Make Ooh. the jump. The next time you're looking at porn, just stare at the guy instead. Jack up. <laughs> no, you're right. Maybe I should give him some appreciation. Wait a minute. Is. Oh my god. Are we going to have to ramp down porn too since. You can't have a an orgy in the middle of a or a bukaki team in the middle oh of a pandemic. Oh my god! No, pandemic, don't right? you dare! <laughs> a bunch of people. <laughs> they can wear hazmat suits. Just a bunch just of dudes. Call it a corona gangbang, bro. Shooting their infestus cum in a woman's mouth. That's not gonna work. We're gonna have to ramp down production here. <laughs> hazmat suits. You say it's not gonna work, bro. There's somebody out there willing to pay big bucks for that, though. I'm one. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's somebody out there who's waiting for that video to drop and he's like that's when i'll get a browser subscription that's when i'll get a black.com sub that's when i'll get on there yeah man i i want does anyone actually pay for pornhub premium and that kind of stuff i don't know man i don't know I, I don't so. it keeps him employed well yeah someone's yeah, gotta right? support like, him yeah. I mean, I think it they depends it on the person, right? Like, some people are like, I only fuck to professional porn, you know? Like, I don't fucking do this regular uh, would, amateur uh, that's, shit. That's, that's kind of worse than the pay pigs to me, then. Because you can get this stuff for free. <laughs> no, you can't get all of it for nah. free. What the fuck are you talking about? There's so many, like, behind paywalls that you have what to pay for. What do you mean, all of it? There's just an internet full of porn out there to meet your every demand. Well, yeah, it's kind of like this, right? The can't you, can right, you get so Netflix, like, shows for free? Yeah, you can torrent them, but I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of kind of the case. But, no, there's no, hmm. Netf there's no free website of Netflix. So, Jackson, I think I get your point to also get trolleys, though, because when you, yes, you can get a whole lot of photos of tits for free but you don't get that little incel cuckold kick from paying a woman whom you are obsessed with and have an internet crush well, on my point. <laughs> no i'm talking about paying Pornhub. Who yeah then? but that's because you get a whole like fucking barrage of pornography you don't just get like one specific person because i don't agree yeah. with you like one specific person that's kind of like a stupid purchase but if you get like a whole you know barrage of it yeah, well yeah. no there's more of an emotional connection yeah. on at least on your end when you're targeting that <laughs> wait one a minute wait do you person? emotionally I mean, that, connect when you watch sad. porn i mean <laughs> yeah. i know it's sad i'm not saying it's not sad uh, i mean i think of the story What's a lot when i watch professional porn fuck yeah dude Sometimes they have really good stories. What, what, what am I going to say? Jackson and I watched a porn together recently without the porn in it. We just watched... I wish you wouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> I wish you wouldn't say that. Why? Well, it was a cool experience. We watched uh, the Scooby-Doo porn parody together, but without any of the porn. It was good. Oh, uh, you watched the version without the porn? <laughs> it was great, man. That was, a, <laughs> that was a good little movie. I think you read it. Was, was, there, was there a good mystery was. with it and everything? Like, was it well thought out? No. Well, there was no, no mystery. It was more of who made Shaggy come at a party. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that engaging? But I mean, the only the only real mystery was what like what do these people look like naked? Since we did watch the non porn <laughs> yeah. version, so I guess we added the mystery to it. Oh no! <laughs> Is uh the writing was good. The writing was real good. It's when you like it when they get the good production value, right? Yeah. When they when they actually get like M Night Shyamalan to write this fucking Scooby Doo porn out. <laughs> I do wonder what we missed out on because there was no porn there. We probably missed. Oh, like, I went and looked. You did? How was it? 
Yeah, it was pretty all right. Like Velma masturbates on her own in the bathroom, and then yeah. it's just like all the rest is standard porn. Mm. All right. <laughs> that was, that was pretty typical to me. God, I can't get that image out of my head. Fuck you. God damn. Which one? Sco the Scooby Doo with Velma masturbating in her head. Scooby Doo Shaggy coming. Like, there's just so much going no, on. There no, Scooby. Yeah, there no, was no Scooby. There was no Scooby in the Scooby Doo. Well, who was fucking. Oh, okay, I'm glad Scooby Doo wasn't in the fucking porno call. <laughs> That's clear yeah. right there. No, no, the end scene is just, just Shaggy yeah. fucking Scooby. <laughs> 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 okay, really like, now, now that kind of aggravates me because you got this porno called Scooby Doo, but there's like the titular character isn't fucking there. Like, what's the point? That's the next <laughs> Scooby Doo. Yeah, they should have a porno called Scooby Doo. <laughs> they should have they should have at least done the 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 um what's that other series not the ripping friends the, 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 no 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 the pokemon the ripping friends parody. <laughs> Yeah, what the, dude, did I just hear a fucking Ripping Friends reference in 2020? <laughs> Holy Hell shit, yeah, you dude. are old. <laughs> yeah, man. Wow, what the, fuck is the ripping fucking friends? Ripping oh, Friends. Oh, this is the greatest animated is it a show porno? Oh no, my a, god, I haven't an heard that in <laughs> decades. Holy fuck. This is really the kick-ass animated show from back in the day. Wow. Yeah, check it out, fuck. <laughs> I'm impressed by your this. reference <laughs> knowledge, man. You've earned my respect with that Thanks, fucking obscure man. one. Well, well, stop fucking yeah. coming, yes. Andrew, and explain. <laughs> oh, it? it's it's nothing to explain. It was a John K. cartoon. The guy oh, who uh, nothing to explain <laughs> after that reaction. <laughs> it's it's by the guy uh, who made Ren and nothing. Stimpy, and it was about a a group of superheroes called the Ripping Friends. And like, I don't even remember anything they did except the catchphrase was "Let's rip them apart." And it was just super dumb, and it was only like six episodes, and I think it was on Adult Swim. But yeah, man. it was on like, yeah, back in the day, it was like uh, the night, like, I had to sneak out of my fucking bed to yeah. watch it, you know, like, ninja that, style, get this show in. That was back when Adult Swim first started, when they still had, like, fucking home movies and Harvey Birdman and all that shit, and just the Ripping Friends would come on. Holy fuck, what a specific oh, reference. Well, this looks kind of cool. I'm watching, uh... Watching some clips. It's very well animated and yeah. it has a great art style, but it just never went anywhere. Which is kind of a shame. I don't think that a show like that could work anymore nowadays. So what was it, what was it about? Like, what the fuck was the whole plot? I barely remember it. It's just like a superhero show. Like, they were all brothers somehow. I don't know how it fucking worked. And they had, like, he Mom to guide them through the adventures of... Oh, yeah. Well, apparently it started on Fox Kids and then later went to Adult Swim. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, so yeah, I recognize from my, like Teletoon right here. That's where I watched it up here in Canada land. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> the fucking ripping friends. Dude, <laughs> we're talking. Dude, we're talking about the Scooby Doo porn parody. It just like popped into my head. Naturally, uh -huh. yes, it does. I, could, I could only imagine what the Ripping Friends porn parody is too. It's just like gay I mean, assholes or how, some shit. How could you they really not, should dress someone up as Scoob? How could even you? If it was uh, just a stop. How could you not enjoy this TV show? It has a recurring character called Jimmy the Idiot Boy, who's <laughs> yeah. who's who's voiced by the creator of the show, and his character description is a mentally challenged <laughs> drooling child. Oh no! What a cartoon. Well, that's pretty wild. That is some 2001 <laughs> shit for sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm Jackson glad that didn't you know with the that more, they, like, you know, app description. If they depicted Scooby, it would be a furry thing at this point. Right. No, 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 no. What, what? I, like, what I was saying is even the, even the Pokemon porn has Pikachu, but it's just a woman painted yellow. It's, actually, oh, yeah. it's, it's a it's disgusting actually, monster. It's actually Dikachu, but, you know, I'll let you fly. Yeah. It. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a fucking horrific monster designed to look like Pikachu. <laughs> I'm glad you knew that at yeah, least. Yeah, thanks for know? the decadent pedantry there. <laughs> I mean, listen, man, you know, you can't just, you can't just criticize art like that and not get it right. You know? <laughs> what number in the Pokedex is that? You guys think that number one day when dude. future people stumble upon our ruins after we've all died from this I fucking really, virus, I, I they're like... I honestly hope we don't. They're gonna look at our hard drives, like, trying to decipher, it, like, hieroglyphics, like, what is this yellow bitch doing here? What What is this woman? Why is she painted? It's gonna be taught... Dude, it's gonna be taught in colleges of 3000, bro. Imagine <laughs> that. Like, human, like... 
like fucking like human like history and shit. It's gonna be like pre-human society. You used to jack off to fucking Pokemon porn parody. Cave drawings of Pokemon I, titties. Oh, yeah. Yes. I honestly <laughs> think that like dig Digital archaeology is going to be a thing. People who make it their job to dig through old social media well, and that sort of stuff. Do. do they? They already that already exists. Yeah, computer forensics. Uh, th that's more like, isn't that more like trying to find proof of criminal activity on somebody's computer and such? Well, not necessarily like defragging hard drives and stuff, going through old uh, like hard drives and yeah, but resalvaging the stuff in there. They usually try to do that only to prove a crime, right? I'm talking about like thousand years from now, somebody going through, I don't know, an old archive of Twitter from the year 2017 to decipher memes and what they were and why. That's what I mean. Man, that that mm. that uh, that liberal arts degree is going to be really fucking use, useful then, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> finally, <laughs> a thousand years from now. That's, <laughs> that's a question I wanted value. to toss you guys for a while, but keep forgetting. What do you think the most useless college degree you can get in this day and age is? Mm. Oh man, I mean, there's like there, there, universities there, have different degrees. There's a treasure. Tr oh man, dude, I'm looking at the Discord chat, man. It's just popping off with that. Uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Dude, our people are good. I don't want to say that, though. That seems like the easy response. Yeah. I was thinking, so the one that I typically go to is there is a major at my university called dance therapy. And I felt <laughs> like that has no practical use outside of just finishing well, the classes. It's, it's in the name, therapy, that helps people. No, it's, yeah, no, 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 well, no it, from what I recall, dance therapy was just the art of dancing as like a kind of a catharsis kind of deal. So kind of like in the is, Joker movie where he's stripping kills. dance therapy. You're like, <laughs> How do you teach that? People feel that's good. like the opposite what, what, what of therapy. You? You're just damaging yeah, your own soul. <laughs> I don't know if that's no, not you, you but you're, you, you're helping someone. I guess you yeah, jack off. Is that therapy though? Bro, I used to think that yeah. I used to think the conspiracy theory major in my university was fucking bad, but that's <laughs> what? that's up. Wait, yeah. there was a conspiracy Hell really? yeah, dude, dude. So it was like, yeah, there was like a whole like set of classes on it. It was one of the things so when I had to do my electives, right? It was like, do I go through like another humanities course and you know, fucking get bored, or do I go to like conspiracy theory? So I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, I'm gonna go to conspiracy theory hour. Don't ever go to a college conspiracy theory course because it is the Why, most that sounds fucking awesome. Dude, it's the most boring fucking thing in the world you know we t dude i was expecting shit about the illuminati 9-11 fucking chemtrails you know what the motherfucking professor talked about fucking ford pintos imagine a <laughs> semester for a month and a half the dude never shuts the fuck up about a ford fucking pinto it's like that was the like i swear i think the ford pinto fucking like killed his family at one point in the class i was like dude this just what the make wait what the f <laughs> wait what what is a ford pinto it's like a it's like a really shitty car that ford made back in the fucking like 60s 60s or 70s that if you like dinged it the right way it would like fucking combust and blow up on you and i guess ford like it was a conspiracy like ford let it happen or some shit to like the, <laughs> like let the lizards fucking take over i don't know dude i passed out half the way in okay I, I started to play league of legends all right like in class you know it's pretty fucking bad when, well like, you won't get it you missed the good part then Dude, but there was no good part. Like the only good part was like at the <laughs> end of the fucking year when they when they gave us our like projects, right? So I so I met with these two Melvins in class who like I was only <laughs> tied with because I never showed up to it. So like you had these you had these one group that's like, oh, let's talk about 9-11 and shit. And I'm like, that's fucking weak sauce, bro. Get out of here. 9-11 conspiracy? That's yeah, boring. Normie. We've all seen it. I, I had to convince these fucking Melvins. I'm like, listen, guys, let's talk about lizards taking over the healthcare system and shit. <laughs> so, so we had like a 30 minute presentation where none of us prepared for it. Like I, I pretty much went up there and bullshitted for like 15 minutes in front of this class about lizards taking over the fucking Canadian healthcare system and like fucking killing Dude, humans and shit. Dude, actually, that seems like such a fucking fun uh, degree to teach. Like if you were the professor, halfway through the semester, you could just bring in a different professor to teach for you. Bro, he was so <laughs> dead. And, and not explain <laughs> anything, and just watch the, the like the uh, the students I just, think it's a giant conspiracy. Bro, I, ju I just wish the professor didn't talk about Fort fucking Pintos all the time, bro. Like, <laughs> what did it do to you? Like I to you this just don't understand the field, dude. To this day, I've had I, I've I've laid in bed at night thinking like la like in my head. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? Is wrong with this one car? What did it do to this guy? Like I want to call him up. Well, sometime. if you had a paid fucking attention in the class, you would have figured it out. <laughs> okay, yeah, motherfucker. How the fuck are you gonna pay attention? in conspiracy theory class when the motherfucker doesn't Aww. shut the fuck up about his car.
That's a Dude. good point. If I went to yeah. conspiracy theory and it's all about a fucking Ford Pinto, <laughs> I'd probably tune out too. Yeah, yeah, but I think right now the smartest capitalist move would be if Alex Jones started a an online class on like on Skillshare Ooh. or something, and he gave classes. Since everyone's locked up at home anyway, just start something fun. I'm always, even now, I'm just tempted to subscribe to his fucking whatever it is, Infowars, just for the entertainment value. That's just where you get the real truth. Take it down. That's where you get the truth. Isn't it gone? Didn't no. didn't he get a censored? Uh, he got censored off YouTube, I'm pretty sure, but he still has like yeah. his own private website. Yeah. Yeah, his own website, Fair I think. Infowars is it? Dude, Alex Jones gets away with whatever he wants, dude. Like at the <laughs> end of the day, like he, he's the only man that I know that can get away with fucking the frogs are gay and all that. What? The one clip of him is the best. There's the one clip of him on the Joe Rogan podcast was the best yeah, thing I've ever I had. The one. You know, where he's like, look guys, I'm gonna be real, I'm a little fucking retarded. Like that was the greatest <laughs> one. <right? laughs> like, the moment of self-reflection is so real with him, and I love it. I love it too, man. So I, I love him, but I also, the open invitation, we can Skype, we can Discord, whatever the hell you want. Eddie Bravo, come on, come on our show, man. I love you. We're not going to cut you off. I love that, man. I just, I really want to listen to his ideas. I'm not, I'm not familiar. Who's Eddie Bravo? He's like, he's like more... Isn't he a cartoon character? No, I, I put him in the, uh, in our private chat yesterday. Do you guys not remember? He was on the same episode as Alex Jones on Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. that Bro, guy. Guys that clip you sent? Yeah, so he's an he's, American martial arts instructor, so podcaster. And yeah, he's, yeah. he's probably even a bigger conspiracy theorist than Alex Jones. But you guys have, know how Alex Jones does kind of seem, you know, he does come across kind of sleazy. Like he doesn't really believe anything. Unhinged. He says he's just trying to sell bunker food. Yeah. Alex Eddie Jones Bravo, comes across as self aware to some degree that he yeah. just knows that. Yeah. Eddie Bravo doesn't, is, he isn't selling anything. He just, he really does sound like he's a. He might be a good person who just believes a whole lot of goofy shit. And I like really want him on. Like a typical flat earther. Yeah, but not as a bad person or anything. So I, I would love to have yeah, him like on. Yeah, like salt of the earth, flat <laughs> earther. Just to let astray I can't. I can't handle your guys' hatred of my beliefs, honestly. I really <laughs> genuinely believe the earth is flat. You can't, you can't prove it, bro. Prove it's not CGI. <laughs> prove the earth isn't made of cgi yeah prove it's not cgi dude i mean you know i'd take alex That's too we need the 5g <laughs> for that processing power no you can't use 5g because it makes you retarded i always love fucking going up to conspiracy theorists and like when they get really into it i'm like hey bro it's your world i'm just living in it dude i don't really know what the <laughs> you just want to believe what you want to believe i don't know <laughs> No, nah, man, you just gotta hit him with a, a counter time. conspiracy theory. Like, okay, man, you know, I, I agree with you. It's all the fucking Jews, but who do you think is making the Jews do it? And then you just. Ford Pintos. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes back to really good hands and everything. Yeah. <laughs> this keeps right. me up at night, dude, wondering how that car works. You guys think that's a good point to end on? <laughs> Busted the conspiracy yeah, on Ford Pintos. Oh, well, wait. We'd be remiss if we didn't ask a uh, guest this uh, question. Yeah, yeah. Any any uh, masturbation stories? Oh, right. Any masturbation stories? Yeah, like mm -hmm. any any wacky masturbation stories. You, you jerk your dick off a weird way or something? I don't know. <laughs> you know, sometimes I don't usually so, ask I mean, this question. So, sometimes I arch it at a fifty degree angle, you know, to get the get the come out the right way. I mean, what the fuck do you want me to say? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's a, a stupid question, stories? Muta. Do you have any stories yeah. in your lifetime that involved <sighs> masturbation or sex? We'll take that too. That you think were interesting no, or funny or oh, man. no, no. We've I, had funny I, I only sex have stories. One really bad sex story. It's actually really depressing too. This yeah, we'll take years it. Ago. We'll take this it. This was oh, well, that's a perfect ending. This is <laughs> years Just, ago. Like this is so. This is this is forever ago. This fucking girl like woke me up in the middle of the night. She's like, "Let me give you a hand job." I'm like, in my head, I'm like, "Really, a fucking hand job at two in the morning?" <laughs> like, fuck you. That's all, you bitch. You know, I'm like, I, I didn't want to be an asshole about it, so I'm like, "Go for it, right?" And so she's like jerking me off, and after a while, she gets me off. And I fucking come into my own mouth, so I'm just like, wow, that's really fucking great. Like, and, and, then, and then she, and then that she was has the, uh, look. No, she gets with a mouth with a mouth full of cum. You just look what you made me do. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, there's like there's like three yeah. drops that fly in. Like I can count the three drops. Like it's in my it's ingrained in my head. And so like 
as I'm laying there, she's like, oh, was that, did you like that? And I'm like, oh, that was just <laughs> fucking riveting, dude. It was the, the best arousal I've ever had. And, you know, she fell asleep just fine. I, I felt pretty fucking bad, but. <laughs> did know, it get up to brush your teeth? Come with- Gargle. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I, he just, he yeah. just kept it in his mouth. Well, I wasn't going to fucking swallow myself, so yeah, I had to sneak up. Yeah, but you didn't want to spit either. No, I didn't want to be rude as a thing, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't want I didn't want to, like, immediately jump up and run. Like, I had to give it a cool 10 minutes before I was like, oh, shit, I have to okay, pee right yes. now. Fuck. So you let your you tongue know? marinate in it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. yeah. You know? It's like a wine taster. Well, I mean, once it hits your mouth, what are you going to fucking do? Like, it's already there, you know? Like, as much as you want to go against it, you have to deal with it, right? Like, fuck. <laughs> that was, uh, that, that was, the, that yeah, was... just swish it around a little. That was the first and last <laughs> time I'll ever, ex- I'll ever be nice in bed, like, except the fucking hate. Like, if somebody ever wants to do that, ever. <laughs> that was so kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> but bro, I, dude, I, I felt like a fucking... When that happened, I felt like a fucking saint. You know, anybody I tell that story to, they're like, they give me like, wow, how could you tolerate that? I'm like, listen, man, I didn't want to start a fight in the middle of the night, okay? It was two in the morning. I wanted to go to bed. She pretty much <laughs> fucking fuck? went against my fucking like wishes and did it to me anyways. And now <laughs> oh, I have to Jesus, deal with and then she made you taste your cum. <laughs> Bro, the, <laughs> like, I think the worst, the worst situation is when she told me, oh, did you enjoy it? Like, <laughs> you look at my fucking face. Obviously, I didn't fucking enjoy it. You know, use some fucking inference. <laughs> it's like drenched in cum. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I loved it. Mm. <laughs> right? Like, I mean, most of it went on me. Fuck. Yeah, that, that's the. Uh, that's Did you the, enjoy that, you little cum slut? <laughs> 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 little cum slut. Your mascara is yeah, running. You're red in the face. You're like, yeah, give me, make me if choke she, on if it. She, yeah. If she, if she, <laughs> if she said money. it like that, you know, that'd be. Yeah, if she said it like that, you know, it'd be a different fucking story. Like, I'd be like, damn, bitch, you're crazy. <laughs> No, she was. She well, was I'm a, glad she was a nice. I'm girl. glad you're at least out of that scary relationship and situation. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm away from it. Well, you're you're a nice girl. You know, whoever you are, you know who you are. If you ever come and watch, you're <laughs> to me. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just putting it out there. You were a nice person, but like, holy fucking shit! I'm so glad I'm out of that relationship, and I hope I'm glad wherever you are. Jesus Christ. I hope you're milking another guy into his own mouth, but that guy can't be <laughs> She's a cereal milker. <laughs> dude, two in the morning. Two in, who the fuck gives you a hand job at two in the morning? Go to yeah, fucking sleep. It's almost sleep, just disrespectful. Dude. Right? Yeah. Like, Wait, she wo- so she woke you up for it? Yeah, dude, I was having a good fucking dream. I even actually remember the fucking dream, too. Like, I was just... What was the dream? It was just me, like... I, dude, I was having a relaxing drive. That was the dream. Like, a relaxing fucking drive. You know, a like, something dream. I enjoy. In my dude, yeah, I was driving in my dream. I was relaxing. It was fucking <laughs> you, good, you know. Like, you got I was, a midnight I was snack. Weird, <laughs> what I was a it, weird dream to remember, dude. I was a, no, because it was like it's a it's a deal. Like I was on the Gold Coast, like looking at the fucking ocean, just driving the car, you know, like outrun style. And then you know you wake up, and then it's like, oh, I'm just gonna jerk you off. So you're in the dark, and it's wow, way to ruin the fucking you know dream and shit. Fuck. So what, why'd she jerk you off? It doesn't sound like she got anything out of that. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking that. know why. Like, I guess she was trying to be, like, cute and everything, and it was, it was nice, but, you know, fuck. <laughs> the taste of the know. <laughs> I mean, it, look, man, I, I mean, it didn't taste like sh- really anything. It was just the fact that it hit me was, you know, I didn't enjoy it at all. Like, I didn't, I didn't quite like it very much, let me tell you. <laughs> and it wasn't, and like I had to be nice about it too. Like I couldn't, like you know, be angry at her. Like how dare you do this to me? <laughs> Start you know, screaming. Well, Flip well, the bed yeah. over. <laughs> well, well, Come yeah. flying everywhere from his mouth while he's screaming. Yeah, because we're in a fucking apartment, and like right to the next of us is this like really fucking like douchey neighbors that we have, and we're just like, well, fuck it. I mean, I can't make a big. <laughs> they just you know. hear you screaming. You made me swallow like. <laughs> yeah, right. Like that would have been. That would have been. <laughs> That'd be a great thing to explain in the hallway the following day. <laughs> that would. That would have been a fun fucking. That would have been a fun eight a.m. to wake up to that old neighbor <laughs> bitch. That so I had. Did, did she remember what she did the next morning? What she did the next morning? No, dude, I fucking left for work the next morning. I don't want to look at her face at all, so I just fucking <laughs> got out of there. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> that destroyed like, it. Like, I woke up, I got dressed really quickly, and I just left for work. And then, like, in the middle of the car, she's like, you just really ran out. I'm like, yeah, I had, I had work. That's it. So yeah, was that was... the beginning of the end of the relationship? No, no, it went on for a while, and then we just went our own separate ways. I never ever told her that. It was something left unsaid in our relationship, you know, like... It wasn't like at the end when we broke up, I was like, fuck you, bitch, you made me come in my own fucking mouth. Like, I never, you should, uh, you know, it never you should, happened. 
You should text her right now and say, by the way, just so there's no loose ends, I wanted to let you know this is why we broke up. It, with oh, a link man, to this episode. <laughs> yeah. Thousands of people laughing at you. Right? How, how, just to wake you up for a fucking hand job. It's so disrespectful. I'm so glad you guys agree. Like, I could never find people to really agree with me. I'm like, nobody would understand the pain and struggle of losing a well, good dream. Uh, it would be okay if she didn't I make you finish in your own mouth. That would be more yeah, acceptable. Well, yeah, like, uh, but not even on my chest, though. Like, bro, I don't want to be covered in my own fucking cum in the middle of the night. It's <laughs> fucking weird. Well, what did you expect would happen? Did you wanted to scoop it up? <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to do some fucking acrobatic. Yeah, like fucking aerial <laughs> catch it. You know, as it's, it's like a magic trick. It's <laughs> a <laughs> comfy catch it out of the air. Like, you want her to is like it? catch the bullet like the president? She swings her mouth into action and catches it all in hers. Yeah, is like, it like, unreasonable? Blocking a ball. And, well, what did you want her to do? Fucking <laughs> like sponge pop with a jellyfish to net. Her to is it unreasonable to expect her to Keanu Reeves that shit into her fucking mouth like Matrix style? That'd be a kind of cool magic trick, actually. Yeah, like the, the same way Keanu Reeves catches cum in his mouth. She goes to catch it. She goes to catch it, and as her hands close, you feel the cum hit behind your ear. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> the old cum behind the ear trick, magic trick. What, what the fuck? She are reaches you behind your ear about? and pulls out the cum. How do, how, wait, how do you get the cum behind the ear though? Yeah, it's, it's like, like a magic quarter. Trick. We don't know how, but she did it. I think Jackson just came oh, up with another Jackson's fetish. Fantasy. <laughs> so, so what? It's like the quarter behind the ear trick, but she pulls out a wad of cum from behind his yeah. ear. A little, little, little cum granule, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the cum flies out of your dick, she goes to grab it, it disappears, and then it's behind your ear. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just and saying, cum mouth. is underused in magic tricks. I agree. Oh, really? Randy Pitchford's on to something. <laughs> I can you make it disappear you in your mouth, the... Jackson. <laughs> is that magic? You should be the first. You should be the first. <laughs> yeah, you just feel magician. it hit the back of your throat. <laughs> you should be the. You should be the first party cum magician, bro. I'd hire you. <laughs> yeah. Why are there no sex magicians? If you could do cum tricks at my birthday party, you'd earn a fucking swell paycheck. Let me tell you. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> I mean, that, that, on that note, ima imagine driving home from a party like that. So, do you catch the cum magician, guys? Like, that dude just makes cum fly everywhere, bro. Yeah, that guy was worth all $10. I'm kind of worried about the cake frosting now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there was so much magic, you guys. Bakery. Magic all over the place. <laughs> That was the best thing I've ever done for YouTube is buy the cake when JStation got that fucking demonetization. I was like, yes, this is worthy of a fucking cake, dude. Gotta go out and pick one up. Oh. Yeah, that was mm. cute. <laughs> All right, Jackson, take us out. Mm -hmm. Well, do you want to shout out your channel? Oh, well, well yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm Some Ordinary Gamers on YouTube. And uh, that, that's really it. Yeah, okay. Man. Go check him out. I agree. Thanks, he's, a, he's a simple He's enough. a good man who's... Yeah, a man who's tasted his own cum is fine by us, in my opinion. So mm. go check him out. Um, yeah, and you can check us out over at patreon.com slash the official podcast. We've got a bonus up right now. Just uploaded it before this recording where we talk about my banana drawings as well as we're gonna be, Charlie's. Uh, yeah, we're going to yeah, be talking novels. about a whole lot of Noodle Man versus One Punch Man or something along those lines. <laughs> going to be reading those. Yeah. yeah, whatever that was. Yeah. You know, there's a there's a yeah. lot of you out there who probably listen to this show regularly. And by this point, when you hear we're wrapping up, you just move on to the next episode. I just want to give a shout out to the people who listen to the very end of every single episode. You're the real heroes, the real the real patriots, a hearty salute to you if you've made it this far. Mm -hmm. I agree. Good for you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give yourself a round of yeah, applause. Note, we'll see you next week. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.